In this video, we're going to look at how to graph a system of linear inequalities. What that means is we're going to have more than one linear equality on the same grid, and we're going to see where their shadings overlap. Our goal is to always start off by making sure that our inequalities are in what we call y equals mx plus b form, which is called slope-intercept form. So slope-intercept form. Now this is the form of an equation. Even though we don't have equations, we can still use this form to graph these. The m is the slope, and the b is the y-intercept. You can remember this as b is where you begin, and m is how you move. The slope is how you move. So looking at our two inequalities here, one of them is already in mx plus b, because you've got the y by itself. So this is the line, and then y is greater than that line. The second one is not in the right form yet. So we want to get the second one in the right form first. So what we want to do is want to move everything away from y. So I usually circle the y thing and move everything else over. So we want to do the opposite of this, minus 5x, by adding 5x to both sides. That eliminates it here. So negative 1y is less than 2 plus 5x. You notice I added a little 1 in there in front of the y. That way I remember it's a negative 1y, not just a negative y. It helps remember how to get rid of that negative later on. By later on, I mean right now. We want to get y by itself, so we divide by negative 1 to every single piece. And what happens here is when we divide by a negative for inequalities, you actually flip this symbol pointing the other way. So it's negative 2 minus 5x. Now we're going to graph. Now we've got both in y equals mx plus b form, so we can graph one at a time, and we can see where they intersect. And by intersect, we're looking to see where they overlap, where are there, there are two shadings overlapping each other. So looking at the first one, we've got y is greater than 4x plus 7. So our slope is 4, and our y-intercept is 7. And our symbol says it's going to be greater than, so that's a dashed, because it's not included. It's not, there's no equal sign on the bottom of it, so it's not included, so it's dashed line. And it's greater than, so it's shaded above. That's how we do greater. We do above the line. So 4x plus 7, that's, we're going to start at the y-intercept of 7. Use the slope of 4. So here is 7. Now, our slope here is not a fraction. I'm going to make it a fraction, 4 over 1. That way we can see it's 4 over 1 is a rise of 4 and a run of 1. So from 7, up 4, right 1. And we can also follow the pattern backwards, down 4, left one, down four, left one. And you'll notice it all lines up when we do the pattern backwards. It should definitely line up since we're graphing a line. So we're going to connect these once we got them, enough of them on there. Two really is technically enough, but we like to do a couple more just to make sure we are accurate. Put some arrows on the ends. So there's no reason not to for this example. Sometimes if there's a real life context, there's a reason not to put arrows on the ends, but there isn't for this one. So we want to do, let's see, again, it should be dashed and shaded above. So this right now is solid. To make it dashed, we're going to just erase a little bit like this to make it a dashed line. And we want to shade above it. It's a little bit harder to see what above is in this case because it kind of looks like left and right. So what I usually do is I usually start with a point on the line and just go straight up. And that tells me, okay, I've got to go up in this space up here to be above our line. So it essentially looks like it's more like the left side is greater than. Even though it is technically above it, it looks like it's like the left side. So above this line would be everything over here. A little bit sloppy coloring there, but that should be the solution for the first one. Y is greater than 4x minus 7, or plus 7. Let's label it because we're going to have 2 on here. Now, where the other one intersects this is going to be the solution for the system. We don't have that yet because we've got to graph the other one. So the other one, we've got a slope of negative 5, which again, it helps to make a fraction. So negative 5 over 1, so down 5, right 1. And the y-intercept is negative 2. So from negative 2, we're going to go down 5, right 1. So here's negative 2, down 5, right 1. We're out of space to do anything more than that, so we could go up 5, and left 1, up 5, left 1. And again, use our ruler, make a nice line through there. We want to make sure when we're doing this again, we got to make sure, is it dashed or is it solid? This one's going to be a dashed line again, because it's greater than 
I don't know if I can quite do that with the shading, so I'm gonna drag this over, then make it dashed. And then I'll drag it back. So there's my dashed line. I'm just gonna put it back in place here. There we go. Arrows on the ends. Again, there's no reason not to. We want to go again greater than because our symbol says the Y's are greater than the line. So here's our purple line that is dashed. We want to shade above it, which would be everything on this side of the line now, which is kind of weird because before it was on the left side and now it's the right side for above. Again, if you're not sure, just pick a point on it and pick and go up if you're going greater than. So like, for example, if this point right here, if I go above it, boom, in the space right there. So that's how we can figure out where to shade. Now, our solution to the system is actually in the overlap. So the solution is right here in this little middle area. That would be the solution to the system that satisfies both of them. Should definitely make sure I label the other side as well. So this is y is greater than negative two minus five x. That's a rather basic example. Here's one more example we can look at down below. Again, we've got y by itself in the first one, so that's good. Let's throw a 1 on that x so we don't forget about it. So the y-intercept is 8. The slope is 1, which we're going to make a fraction 1 over 1. That way you can see the rise and the run. The second one we don't have quite in the right form yet. Again, we've got to get y by itself, so let's move the x's. And let's solve this for y. We want to get again into slope-intercept form. So negative 5y is less than negative 25 minus 2x. Divide by a negative 5 to every single piece. Again, we're dividing by a negative, so we got to be careful to flip our symbol. So it opens the other way now. So this is y is greater than positive 2 fifths x. And now we can label what our y-intercept is. So the y-intercept is at 5. And our slope is a fraction already, which is good. 2 over 5, so up to right 5. Okay, so let's look at our symbols, too. This first one had a greater than or equal to, which is going to be a solid, because it's got the equal to line down here. So solid and above, because it's greater than or equal to. And the other one is just greater than, so it's just going to be dashed and above. So dashed and above. Above. Okay, let's see how we can do this here. So for the first one, y-intercept is 8, slope is 1. So we find y-intercept of 8, slope of 1, right 1, up 1, up 1, right 1, same thing. You can follow that pattern this way. Use your ruler. Connect those. Make sure to fill up the whole grid. Is this one going to be solid? Yes, it was because it had the line underneath. So we're going to keep that solid. And we're going to shade above it. So we're going to go ahead and use our highlighter tool here and shade above this line there we go there's a solution for the first one y is greater than or equal to y is greater than or equal to x plus 8 and for the second one 5 plus 2 fifths x and greater than so we're going to start at a y intercept of 5 and go up to over 5 like this. I'm going to follow the pattern backwards too just to have some more dots on here. We're going to again use the ruler, make a nice and straight line. And this one should have been dashed. So let's see if I can do this even though I've got it in the shaded area. So I'm going to erase parts of it to make it dashed. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Not a nice looking line when I do it like that. So let's try this. If I copy this down, I'm going to make it dashed first and put it back in place. There we go. And again, I want to go above this one because it is greater than. So we're going to shade this one above the dashed line. I'm going to use a different color. So this whole area here would be the solution for that one, which is y is greater than 5 plus 2 fifths x. And 
And then the overlapping section is our solution to the whole system. And that would be the overlapping section right up here. That would be our solution because, again, that's where the two sheetings would overlap. And that's how we graph systems of inequalities.